Gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are seed bearing plants. Gymnas means naked. Sperma means seed. The ovules are not exposed by ovary wall and remain exposed. Thus, they occupy intermediate position between pteridophytes and angiosperms. Gymnosperms are the primitive seed plants. Gymnosperms are characterized by the following features. 1. Most of the genera are entirely extinct and only few are living. 2. Generally, the gymnosperms are xerophytes. 3. They are predominantly woody plants. Few are climbers. 4. The sporophytic plant is evergreen. The tallest living gymnosperms is sequia. 5. The roots are generally tap roots. Roots in some genre have fungal association in the form of mycorrhiza, pinus, while in cycas. The roots are called coralloid roots and associated with N2 fixing cyanobacteria. 6. The stems are unbranched, cycas, branched, pinus. 7. The leaves may be simple or compound, cycas, pinnate leaves. The leaves are well adapted to withstand extremes of temperature, humidity and wind. Conifers, needle-like leaves, reduce the surface area. Thick cuticle and sunken stomata reduce water loss. 8. Gymnosperms are heteroporous. They produce haploid microspores and megaspores. The spores produced within sporangia are arranged spirally along an axis to form compact strobili or cones. The strobili bearing microsporophylls and microparangia are called male strobili. The microspores develop into male gametophyte which is reduced called pollen grain. The development of pollen grain takes place within the microsporangia. The cones bearing megasporophylls with ovules are called female strobili. The ovules born on megasporophylls may be clustered to form female cones. Megaspore mother cell divides meiotically to form four megaspores. One of the megaspore enclosed within the megasporangium develops into female gametophyte that bears two or more archegonia of female sex organs. The female gametophyte is also retained within megasporangium. The gametophytes remain within the sporangia retained on the sporophytes. The pollen grain is released from the microsporophytes. They are carried by air currents and come in contact with the opening of the ovules born on the megasporophylls. The pollen tube carrying the male gametes grow towards archegonia in the ovules and discharge their contents near the mouth of archegonia. After fertilization, zygote develops into an embryo and ovules into seeds. Seeds are exposed.